This is the 2018 Math Kangaroo, levels 11-12, problem number 30. Archimedes has calculated 15 factorial. The result is on the board. Unfortunately, two of the digits, the second and the tenth, cannot be read. What are the two missing digits? A, 2 and 0, B, 4 and 8, C, 7 and 4, D, 9 and 2, or E, 3 and 8. This is the problem as it originally appeared on the test. And here is where we'll be doing the solution. So to start, we know that 15 factorial is equal to 15 times 14 times 13 and so on, all the way until 3, 2, 1. So if we look over here, we can see that this number ends with three zeros. Let's divide by a thousand to get rid of the last three zeros, because by doing that, we might have um, an easier time finding this mystery number right next to the zeros. So let's divide by a thousand. And when we do that, we can, we have a 10 here, and then we can do five and four, and then we can take a five from here, leaving a three. And by doing that, we've gotten We've divided by a thousand. And so now we can see that we have 3 times 14 times 13 times 12 times 9 times 8 times 7 times 6 times 3 times 2 left. If we look over here, that's what's left after we divide by a thousand. So now we can see what the last digit of this is going to be because we only need to pay attention to the last digit, right? Because we are looking for the last digit of the number that we have found, because again, we just divided by a thousand, so we got rid of these three zeros. So again, we're trying to find that last digit. So let's only focus on the last digit. So first we have three times four, which is 12. And then again, we're only focusing on the last digit. So we just take the two, and then we do 2 times 3, 6, and then we take the 6 again. 6 times 2 is equal to 12. And then we have the 2 times 9 is equal to 18. And then again, we only take the 8. 8 times 8 is equal to 64. And then we take the 4. 4 times 7 is equal to 28, we only take the 8, 8 times 6 is equal to 48, we only take the 8, 8 times 3 is equal to 24, we only take the 4, 4 times 2 is equal to 8. So again, we only are focusing on the last digit of that product. And we have just figured out that the number that's there must be 8. The number here is 8. So we've already solved basically half of the problem because we're looking for two of the digits. We just found one of them. Well, we also know that this is a number that must, de must be divisible by 9, right? Because we have 9 um, being multiplied and we also have like 3s. So it's definitely divisible by 9. And we know that multiples of 9 have digits that add up to a multiple of 9. So let's add up the digits. And again, we know this must be equal to a multiple of 9. So let x be our unknown number over here. And let's add them up. So we have 1 plus x plus 0 plus 7 plus 6 plus 7 plus 4 plus 3 plus 6 plus 8 is equal and that's equal to x plus 42. And again, this must be a multiple of 9. Let's think about which multiples of 9 are close to 42. The closest one would be 45. Because if we looked at the next highest one, 54, then x would have to be 12. And x is a single digit, so that's not possible. So 
our multiple of 9 must be 45. And that means that x must be equal to 3 if x plus 42 is equal to 45. So we know that the number that goes here must be 3. So we found out that the missing digits are 3 and 8, and that is answer choice E. Thank you so much for watching, and please subscribe if you would like to see more videos.